Hello out there, this is DZ, and welcome back to Let's Play The Park. <laughs> okay, Mouse, I need you to calm down a little here. Okay. We just got finished with a lovely boat ride. Lovely. And, uh, we made a, a new friend, I think. So that's, that's nice. We're gonna, we're just gonna leave now and continue on our way to try and find our son. Because, yeah. Oh, boy. <clears throat> As always, we are, hmm? what was that? Okay. As always, there's nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. I'm not your average Let's Player. I am an overlord, after all. Yes, yes, I know. I've, I, I haven't exactly been too forthcoming with that, but... Mm. Callum, stay where you are! Ooh. Another accident. This place. Oh, boy. Um... Either way, as an... I don't scare easy. Okay. Hi. Read note. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The... What the hell? The... I actually can't make that out. Is booked... Oh, the go... Is that Governor? Yeah, the governor. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what's wrong with me today. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the band, band writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon, I will know if this has all been for nothing. Well, that seems to be the bear we've been looking for? Can we get that? Is there a way to get that? Mr. Bear? Mr. Bear? I want to get the bear. And I apparently accidentally turned on run. Okay. Back to walking speed. Okay. Okay. Hello! What? Damn it, I'm trying to hear where the kid's voice is coming from, but... Come out, sweetie! Okay. I'm following the trail. It's... Wait for mommy. The hell am I hearing? Uh, kids in these damn games. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I am a being of darkness. Of the netherworld. Such things have no sway over me. Also, I, uh... 
For those of you that may have had some difficulty in the first episode seeing, I have turned up the gamma slightly. Where did you go? Kid. Don't screw Not with me. Anymore, Callum. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Okay. <clears throat> I still don't have a flashlight. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. Uh huh. Oh, good for you. Examine report. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. I witnessed report on uh, an officer on duty. Read Norma statement. We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the, t at the ice. And at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion, but as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little faster, like you were prey and that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments it was, uh, it was, oh, chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Okay. Well, isn't that lovely? Just lovely. I think we're going to speed up our gait a little bit. Uh, can we ride that thing? Go. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we do need to go over here. Where did I come from? Okay, hold on. I'm going to do a full circle. Callum! Where did you go? Sweetie. Oh, that kid. Come to mommy, Callum. Bingo. Okay, so it is just this. Ride the Octotron. Um, wait a minute. Decrease speed. Decrease speed. Decrease speed. Okay, it's it's come to a stop. I guess we'll get on. Because, you know, this isn't going to be creepy at all. Seriously, why would we even get on this thing? Um, okay, wait a minute. What? Okay. Sound of the wind is pretty... What the hell was that? What did I just see? What 
the f What the fuck was that? Okay, I usually try and keep from cursing, but what the f Jeez. What the frig was that? Uh... No, 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 no. This thing should... N no, no. This thing never moves again. Nope. Leaving. I am leaving and getting the hell out of... What? Examine Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Family ties. Me and Cap... Who the hell's that in the background? Um... What? That doesn't exactly look like a happy family picture. Um... Okay... Callum! Kid... Where do we go, kid? Hello. Oh boy. Okay. Come back. Let's just see if I can trigger Mommy anything needs to see else. You, Callum. Wait, Callum. Oh, what's that? There's something here. Read page. You read it. Frustrated by the fact that the plans seem incomplete. I know as well as anybody that the rules of the game can be changed with enough money, but no matter how much money talks, it can't conjure up missing plans from thin air. I've tried contacting the organization who sold me these plans, and they are stonewalling me. Every contact that I had, every every contact that I had, every meeting place that I have had watched have had watched are swept bare. I have a sinking feeling that I have been swindled. We've gone ahead with what we could find in the plans regardless. The harvesting machines, the transport mechanisms, etc. I'll probably let Nicholas name them something cute for the day we open the park. They will be rides after all. Okay. Come so I, back, can't, I can't get across here. I can't take that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do one quick run. Where are you? Just to see if anything pops out from these Callum? benches basically. Don't hide from me, Callum. Okay, cuz that's where I found the report. Callum. Callum. Where are you? I'm just spamming it now. Can't. Callum, tell mommy where you are. Okay, we're gonna go this way then. Treachery hides in thoughts. What? A treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum is no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. They shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. What? Callum, come back here right now! Okay, you're getting a little... Um... Okay, ma'am, that, that's more than just a little bit crazy. Where are you? Z. Um... Stop! Callum! Okay, so there's gotta be a way in here. Oh, what? 
I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping. Most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve. See? Even I'm starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. Is it... Is the... In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve the local lush is Chad the chipmunk. Child-friendly mascot at, Lant at Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first, it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. But then I saw him at Susie's diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained, discreetly, to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by. Apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puking up in a gutter outside the sill coil station because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. The shapes he makes in the ice though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me, he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit but it seemed like he was just staring at me. Sizing me up. I fucking me. Whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor and when he came by, Chad, Steve wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura Henman. Okay. Okay. Didn't expect that. That. Stop, Callum. That caught me a little by surprise. <clears throat> Is there a way in there? Hello. I'm gonna guess no. We're not supposed to be able to go in. Callum, where are you? What? Mm. That rustling keeps getting to me. I mean, not really. Like, I am perfectly fine. What the frig is that? Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Seriously, what the hell is that? What kind of freaky ass sculpture is that? Come out, sweetie. Whoa, mouse, don't do that. Where are you? Okay. Where did you go? Wait for mommy. Stay where you are! Mm. Where the hell are wait, we now? Callum. Okay, wait, so... Constant crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Oh, we're at the bumper cars. So we passed by the House of Horrors, we went to Tunnel of Tales, and then the Octotron. We're now at the bumper cars. I get the feeling this will all probably end with the Ferris wheel or the House of Horrors. One of the two. I don't know which, though. Maybe the roller coaster, even. Callum! I guess we'll go in. Oh. In this way? Okay, no, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, of course, I'm an idiot. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. 
examine device. Oh. Okay. What the? What the hell was that? Shocking revelation. What? What the hell is this? Seriously, what is going on? Was that her receiving shock treatment? And if so, for what? Callum? Whoa, what? Stop, Callum! Come out, sweetie. I see it. There's one that's lit up. Come back, Callum. Callum, where did you go? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Kid, if you're in there, examine accident report. Accident report. Achieve and unlock the shakes. Accident report. Employee named Francis Dufresne. Uh, 25th of October, 1976. Laborers working on the crane. Richard Stapleton. This is Lawrence Creed. Okay. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the way of the cars. Francis was killed. Did the injury employees see a doctor? Yes. If yes, did you file an employee's employer's portion of workers' comments? Yes. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. Double checking of the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screenings for all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Photocopy. Local laborers are very superstitious, and this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone from the local church walk the park and exercise the bad spirits. What? Oh, boy. Um... That was bad. Don't be afraid. Stay where you are. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go examine that, cause you know, I'm freaking crazy. Where are you, Calum? The hell was that? Pointing me in that direction, obviously. But I am going to actually check out a couple things. Just because I'm freaking crazy and want to see if I can find everything. Callum! Tell mommy where you are! Okay, so I need to Callum, head up where did there you go? after. Callum, where did you go? I thought it was coming right for me, you know, in all seriousness. What? There's nothing in here. Mommy is coming, Calm. You know, although Mommy might be completely insane. 
Either that or there's something really messed up going on here. Okay. I think I will actually end the episode in just a moment. Holy crap, though. Jeez. Where are you? Callum! This is... Mommy is coming, Callum! This is definitely a hell of an experience, I'll say that. Stay where you are! Okay, so will it even let me go this way? Like, what happens if I try? Where are you? Callum! Oh, there is something up here. Wait, what? What is the... Callum! Tell Mommy where you are! Read page. Dissuade them. They have sent an inspector to investigate the accidents at the park. I've given him the grand tour and spoken about all of our safety upgrades, but he seems unconvinced. In this case, the park itself is working against me. This dour man has become more and more intractable the more time he spends in the park. I've offered to pay for his stay in the Overlook Hotel to get him out of here. It seems to have made him even more paranoid. I don't think this man is going to allow my park to stay open. This is a disaster for my ultimate goals. Your ultimate Stay goals? You what? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna head back. It should auto-save now in a moment. I think. Yep, there it goes. Okay. So what we're gonna do... In, uh, well, first of all, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. Check out links in the description for the park on Steam. Mommy is coming, Kelm! Check, uh, oh, sorry. Check out links in the description for the park on Steam, and uh, there are a few links there if you wish to contact me as well. Feel free to do so. And in the next part, well, we'll just keep right on going. We're gonna head up here because it seems that's like where it wants us to go. But well, I guess we'll see what uh, what awaits us. Until then, though. This is DZ. You guys have a great day. And I'll see ya. <laughs>